God that wields the dark Mjolnir descends to his throne of thought to answer your question as the Magnesite movement marches forward to 1 million subscribers, 110,000 strong. Now, I have a question from Derek. And this is what Derek says. He says, hey, Tyrone, I've been a fan of yours for a few months now. Really like your reaction videos, and I love the Magnus Answers videos. I find it unique that you can take time out of your entertainment to offer your help and opinion to people through videos and private messages. So, with that being said, I was wondering if you could give me some advice on something that's been bothering me. When I'm on social media, I sometimes come across teens about my age that slit their skin and injure themselves. And every time I see this, I can't fight off the urge to help them. However, every time I do, I sometimes end up enduring their pain myself, like an empath. Hmm. And I sometimes get more down about the problems I have personally. Should I fight through the pain and help everyone I may accidentally come across or give up altogether. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, so I'm always telling myself that with great responsibility, great power comes great responsibility. Anyways, I'd love if you could answer this through a video, but either way, it's fine with me. Thanks again, and good luck on reaching those 1 million subscribers. Woo. So, Something that you're going to have to realize is that when you are, or when you put you place yourself in the business of helping people that are in negative situations, see, you have to realize that you're doing good. This is good energy that you have, okay? And confidence, goodwill toward men, happiness, a lot of these, th this, this energy that you have is almost like a shield. It's almost like a protective shield if you can look at it like that. That's how I look at it. Look at it as like you're a positive aura and energy that you have. And I mean this literally, right? So, but what you have to understand is that even though you have this positive energy, negative energy chips away at you. Some people's confidence goodwill, happiness, um, whatever it is, their, their, their bubbly personality. Some of people are so strong that it's really hard to get through that armor. It's really hard to break it. Sometimes you'll be in a great mood and then someone you know, like a family member or a friend, will say something that will totally shatter it and smash it. Their negative energy all of a sudden affected you. You know, there's a, uh, there are sayings out there that basically in a nutshell say that, you know, it's not um, how, it's not what you do, but how you respond to what others do that affect your life. So because life can come at you, so to speak, I personally believe that you create your situations. But I do understand that if I take it upon myself to create a situation where I want to help someone, I have to realize that I'm going into a situation where their negative energy could possibly affect me. It depends on what you're trying to help them with. For example, if someone's just like, ah, oh, man, I got rejected from this college I wanted to get into, you as a good friend can go over to them and you can say, ah, oh, you know, hey, we're going to get through this, buddy. Let's go out. Let's have a drink. Let's talk. There are other schools that can, you know, we, 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 there's a lot of things you can do. And you might not even be affected. But what if it was like their mother or father that died? That could be enough to mess you up. Because it may, could make you start to think about, wow, what am I going to do if my mom or dad dies? Or if your mom or dad already did die, then all of a sudden that keys in that feeling for you. Then you're both sitting there in an emotional mess. You see how it can affect you? But the reverse is also true. You, being of 
a, a massive aura of positive energy can walk up to someone who's having a bad day and say hello and that little bit of positive energy you gave to them all of a sudden turns their life around or their day around whatever have you you see that so it goes both ways so what I want you to do you see because I love what I do and apparently you love what you do but even though we love what we do there is a point where you have to stop you have to recharge you have to take a nap you have to continue it tomorrow you get what I'm saying so for example I've done as many as maybe five or six Magnus answers in a row where I'm helping people but it drains me of my positive energy then I have to rest I have to eat I have to relax and I have to recharge that battery just like when I do reaction videos a lot of times I get so excited I'll do five or six of them in a row and then I'm done for the day I have no more energy to give it would be an injustice to my followers subscribers fans whatever have you my Magnus sites for me not to give all the positive energy that I can so instead of I reacting to something the day that you requested because I can't give it all because I may not be in the best of moods or I may be drained of my positive energy and I just want to sit back watch TV and relax I have to do it tomorrow and that's what you're gonna have to learn to do that I think I think that you're gonna have to learn to only tackle these situations when you are feeling the best I think Akasai actually said that he doesn't react unless he's feeling good and I and that's exactly how I am sometimes I'll get a bunch of emails but at the time I'm kind of slumped over in bed I'm just tired and I don't feel like it. Then sometimes I just get this second wind. That's why sometimes y'all get reaction videos at 2.30 in the morning. Because I happen to be up. I happen to get a recharge of the battery. And I'm just like, you know what? Let, let, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm feeling good now. Let's give it to them now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, another thing you can do, though. And I always talk about this. EFT. Emotional Freedom Transfer. Created by Roger Callahan. And taken up by his... Um, student Gary Craig there's a website called tapping.com you can go to it, they'll teach you how to do it I use it as a form of acupressure which is a variation of acupuncture except there's no infiltration of the skin so there are certain pressure points that you will tap on and I'm telling you they coincide with your electromagnetic energy and the impulses and energy streams in your body and it helps to reroute that energy or disperse that energy that is negative so for example if you got fired for one day from your job and you're feeling the bad and you feel like oh my god i'm gonna make money you can do that to totally get rid of that horrible feeling and be like you know what shit everything is going to be just fine so what you may want to do is after you help someone if they are chipping away at you and you're feeling kind of down after helping them, do that to disperse it. And then maybe you'll be able to jump right back on that saddle and start helping more people. All right? Uh, EFT is a sometimes daily tool. I don't use it much because I've gotten rid of a lot of the negative energy and impulses in my life. I really um, have dealt with a lot of negative energy that I've just gotten rid of. So I'm able to deal with a lot of things other people can't deal with right away because they don't know. I would be an emotional wreck considering certain things that I've gone through within the last, I'd maybe say, three years. So because I know I have this particular um, um, tool, which isn't the only tool you can use. You can learn about deep breathing. You can learn about meditation, exercise. Sometimes you reduce the stress. So it all depends. But this is king for me, Okay. So I hope that I have helped you, all right? Anybody else that needs help, make sure you write me on YouTube, on YouTube, not my business inquiries email box. No, no, no. Or you can write me on Facebook. That's it, just those two, YouTube or Facebook. For some people, YouTube doesn't have a send a message button. I don't know why, but some of you still are able to send me messages. So apparently some of you, it, it's available for some of you, it isn't. And like I said, you can also send it to my email box on um, Facebook, all right, on my fan page, all right? One million subscribers, woo!